First, this year's Nobel Prize for Chemistry will be shared by three scientists, Morten Meldahl from Denmark and two Americans, Carolyn Bertozzi and Barry Sharpless. They have been recognized for the development of bioorthogonal chemistry and click chemistry, which involves attaching molecules together to create Sharpless, only the fifth person ever to receive a second Nobel Prize. Now here's what the chair of the Nobel Committee for Chemistry, Johan Aquist, had to say. Click chemistry is uh, almost, almost like it sounds. It's all about snapping molecules together. Imagine that you could attach small chemical buckles to different types of building blocks. Then you could link these buckles together and produce molecules of greater complexity and variation. Now with me in the studio is Lea Albrecht from our science department to break it all down. Click chemistry, first of all, it very much sounds like Lego to me. So what, what, what does it mean? It does sound like Lego to me as well. And actually that was the picture I first had in mind. It does sound like a game and it kind of is because it's, it really, yeah, imagine Lego cubes. Uh, you have a yellow one, you have a blue one and a green one, and you can click them easily together and build something new out of it, right? A house or whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And that's a click chemistry with molecules in, in very tiny dim dimensions. So the Lego cubes are molecules, and you can, um, again, put uh, or take different molecules and click them easily together. Um, so the new thing now is that they found the, the click, like mm -hmm. the buckles, as we just heard. Uh, and that was, uh, the, yeah, that was the new discovery they made and which made it easy now to, to have new buildings, new molecular buildings in our, um, yeah, in, in chemistry as a, as a whole, but also in our bodies, in our living cells even. Okay, that sounds exciting. And tell us a bit more about the, the three laureates and their research. Well, Barry Sharpless, he was the first to discover the concept of click chemistry. So he had the idea that, well, maybe we could take these two molecules and kind of click them, ha have an easy way to put them together. Um, and this, this idea went all over the chemistry world. It was really huge. And many people then started to think about applications and to how to put this into practice. So that's where Morten Meldahl came in. And he found the first reaction where that actually could be could be applied where, where he could yeah mm, make molecules uh, yeah exactly M make molecules click together and he used um, copper as a buckle now copper is a, a metal and um, if we look in our bodies metals too much too many metals are not really good in there or too much metal mm -hmm. especially too much copper so uh, the question came up, how can we use click chemistry in our cells, in our bodies? And uh, that's where Carolyn Bertozzi came in. And she used a sugar, or like a sugar complex as buckles and now made it also possible to, to click together molecules in our own body, mm -hmm. in, in living cells. Now, how does all of this affect our lives? I mean, can I soon, uh, can we sort of click together a new, I don't know, kidney for me? <laughs> well, a kidney, yeah, I think that that's another um, part of, of research then. But um, the good thing about clicking molecules together is that you can also click something, a shiny molecule, onto another molecule in our body. So you can make things shine, you can make things see in our body. And that's how you can track, for example, um, where processes take place, where diseases develop, um, where drugs are uh, are delivered in our body if they go to the wrong place or to the right place. So it really helped us in um, pharmaceutical development. Uh, it helped us in, yeah, in making new drugs, um, but also in materials research, how to make more robust new materials, which is, of course, um, yeah, kind of needed in these times of climate change and everything else. But I think the pharmaceutical um, yeah, things are really, that, that's really the new thing. And that's also what what um, the laureate Karen Bertozzi mentioned in her, uh, in her speech after, uh, after she was announced the winner of this Nobel Prize. Lea Albrecht from our science department. Thank you very much, Lea, for shining some light on to click chemistry.